Yep, that's us right there, loading the sprint car after a long week in the race shop. Let's go back about 24 hours as we were putting the finishing touches on the 18T to get it race ready for the weekend. Well, I made my way down to the race shop and here's a look at my hot rod for the weekend. Now, if you guys remember, this season we have a separate car for the 360 than we do the 410. So technically, this thing has not hit the track, you know, so far in 2023 and we still need to fire it, which we're planning on doing this afternoon. And we're gonna be taking it to the Cottage Grove Speedway this Friday and Saturday for the spring fling. So Friday is $1,500 to win and Saturday is $2,500 to win. And I'm sure there's gonna be a really strong field of cars because this is kind of like the first race in the Pacific Northwest this season with all the weather. And another thing to note, the last time that this car specifically ran Cottage Grove, we did win a Western Sprint Tour 360 race there back in September. So got a good notebook for the place. We have a lot of laps there. and. Uh, we're just, you know, really, really pumped to get this thing on track. Glad that went well. Fired up first try. And it sounds really, really good. I think this thing is gonna thump all season long. So our 360 package was phenomenal at the end of 2022. And if we can, you know, right off the right out the gate, um, have that same speed, I think we can win some races here early in the year. So the car fired right up, sounded great, and had zero leaks. So now let's go back to loading the race trailer. Look at this beautiful sunset while we while we are loading the race trailer on a Thursday afternoon for two nights of racing since we're running two cars we have a not a completely full tire rack got some extra space because between Carly and I we take up of course you know pretty much all of our wheels so we both got three right rears and then we have one extra mounted up so seven in total and then four left rears so definitely still plenty of options for stagger and then you know an extra front wheel um, if need be but yeah just a little bit of extra space down there than you guys are used to uh, seeing A little bit more. Oh, there it goes. Got dad's fancy tow bar down there, all hooked up to the 18T. That thing helps prevent um, catastrophes going down the road. We travel, you know, a good amount of distance, and we have a lot of races ahead of us. And the last thing we need is the car to come loose and basically to plow into the back of the mule. So I got everything all tied down. So far, this will be our closest trip to home uh, for the season. Cottage Grove is only about two and a half hours north, just right up I-5. And I mean, don't get me wrong, I love traveling, especially when we get to go across the country, see new places and stuff, but it, it always is great racing close to home. It's really hard to beat it, especially, you know, I mean, I wish I had a track within five minutes of the house, which I don't. The closest is uh, 30, you know, 25, 30 minutes here at the Southern Oregon Speedway in White City. And I, every time I get to race out there, it doesn't matter. Either it's not a great night. It's just awesome being there. So it's going to be fun for the 18T to have like our first home turf race of the season and then also our first race in the state of Oregon. Now the spin to all this, we got our equipment loaded. You think our job's done. It's actually not entirely done. We got to head back home and we got to get Carly's car too. So the 22C is all loaded in the box. So two cars this weekend, I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of chaos in our pit, a lot gonna be happening between Carly and I. I do gotta ask, first race back since your injury in the sprint car, luckily you got to run some cart stuff, but how are you feeling? 
Uh, I feel good. I don't think the nerves will really kick in until we start traveling to the racetrack. And then as we get to the racetrack, hopefully they kind of just go away and I can just stay calm and be confident about my race car. Um, I think we got it all set up for what we know, but until we get to the racetrack, we can't, we're not going to make any changes, obviously. And I'm super excited to get back behind the wheel. It's been just about nine months since my accident. Um, as people say, we're going to start off where we left, but um, hopefully all goes well this weekend. Like I said, we're just going to kind of stay calm, be confident about our race car, and shake everything off and uh, just go out there and have fun. And one thing worth mentioning, Carly did get to practice this last Sunday at the Southern Oregon Speedway, so here is a clip from one of her sessions. So what I want to know, and I'm sure you guys want to know too, but Carly, how important was it for you to kind of go out there and get that little test day? Instead of, I mean, basically, otherwise you'd just be rolling this thing out and you'd be expected to, or not expected, but you'd have to get on the gas for hot laps. I think the main thing was just kind of, you know, shaking everything off, get comfortable in the car, you know, making sure um, it's, it's fitting towards my driving style. Just because, you know, we do have a two day show coming up at Cottage Grove, you know, tomorrow and Saturday that um, it was really just kind of, you know, like I said, to get comfortable making sure everything fit how it needed to be. And, you know, since it is a 360 compared to a limited, I, uh, last, last year I was switching back and forth right before my, um, wreck and to just kind of, you know, get rid of that rust and put it all behind us for this weekend. But it's getting late. So I'm going to head inside right now. We had a very busy week here at Tanner and Carly Holmes racing, just finishing, getting cars ready and maintenance and just getting things turned around and making sure all of our equipment was exactly where it needed to be. I always say crossing our T's and dotting our I's and that is so important in an operation. You have to do everything right in the shop to even have a chance at being successful once you you know get on the racing surface and the racetrack and you know at the different facilities that we go to so really just try to do our due diligence here in southern oregon so when we travel everywhere else like i said we we give ourselves the best chance at success so it's funny how life changes i was born and raised here in southern oregon lived on the same exact property same house my whole entire life and the room i'm in now is my merchandise room but growing up it was just like a, a little storage room that we walked in as you come in the house House. Definitely one of those scenarios. You just never know where life might take you. So anytime you order something, you're supporting our team, it comes right from here. And with that, I wanted to show you guys one of my favorite items we now have, our 2023 Sprint Car shirts. These are in blue. This is a royal blue and it literally just looks so good. And we also have that exact same t-shirt design in gray and in a hoodie. And recently we also added some new hats. Love this red and white. And then we also have the gray and black with the 18T inside the Oregon outline. So those were a couple of the fresh items we now have available, but we also have more on the way that will be here kind of within the next three to four weeks. Uh, mini wing panels, um, new t-shirt designs, long sleeve, more hoodies, just kind of changing it up and um, wanting to expand from what we already have. So if you guys would like to check out this gear, it is available now on tannerhomes.com shop. You can order and it ships out ASAP. And to add to that, of course, we will always have our latest and greatest merchandise at the track at every single event that we attend throughout 2023 and all the years to come. But I just got back in my room now, so gonna get some rest. I don't think I told you guys, but last weekend we were supposed to race at the new dirt track there in Roseburg, Oregon, the Douglas County Dirt Track. Impressive facility. I kind of showed you guys it a little bit last year, which I'll link at the top of the description uh, as they had one test day. But they were supposed to have their first two races. Both of them were canceled due to weather 
weather. So that really sucked, but the good news is the weather is kind of starting to turn around. Things have kind of been creeping into the warmer temperatures, you know, 70s, 80s, and I think even here in like a week or two, it's supposed to hit 90. So hopefully we'll be able to stick to our schedule. All our races from here on out uh, will not be affected by rain, and we'll really be able to get after things. I know it's been a little bit of a slow start to our season, running all that 410 stuff, really difficult competition, kind of dealing with this new package, and we just haven't found our foot 100% but this weekend in the 360 uh, exact same car I had success at the end of last season I feel good back at a track that's in my wheelhouse I think you know everything's gonna click and you guys are definitely gonna see a little bit of a different 18 T than before and then from this point on we just want to get our season rolling and get consistent and kind of get some momentum on our side thank you guys for watching appreciate the support I love you all and I will see you at the racetrack soon deuces